are some clients who could absolutely do most of their transaction banking um, through self-service technologies, through um, self-servicing, uh, because they're, they're, what they need is reasonably predictable. They don't need lots of sophisticated management, and that can be done correctly. Now, banks have to understand that if they are servicing those clients with lots of people interaction, that's that's expensive and it's not necessary in that sense. So I use a term where I would say we're over servicing some clients in the sense that we're giving over uh, customized solutions when they have very standard needs. So the first key skill is how as a bank do we have those conversations and we positively encourage our clients to self-service so they're not always coming to a human being, not always sending an email. And we've got to do that positively and we've got to have the skills in showing that something for them not for us as a cost reduction move. So I think there's the skills around that, but I also think we want to take sometimes people out of those interactions because they're not necessarily needed. But then what we get is our clients, as you said, who have very sophisticated needs in the sense, very complex needs. They need to do lots of international or global payments. Um, they need to do lots of management of their, their balances around the world. And there we need to take the service person and the implementation person and we've got to equip them and empower them the skills of good questioning. You know, we've got to empower them the skills of being confident at a senior level. We've got to empower them the skills of, of how do I really find out what my client's strategy is? 